Please give it up for my friend Layla Ali. Hi. <laughs> Four time boxy champ, two time chopped winner, and now she's a first time cookbook author with the Food for Life, sharing delicious, delicious recipes to keep you in fighting shape. I can't talk because I've been munching on yeah, this. What is this? It's good, right? What is this? It's charred cheddar and sausage breakfast casserole? Yes, but there's also sweet potato in audience, there. Uh, audience so, is having you guys some like it? Uh -huh. Good, good. Some sweet potato. Like, oh, yeah, sweet potato. You were, it was really important you to have that healthy twist to it. Oh, yeah. Well, Robin, let me just say, I love being here talking about food because we mm -hmm. always are talking about something else, but I actually was cooking before I was boxing. A lot of people don't realize wow. that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I've been cooking since I was about nine mm -hmm. years old, love to cook, but what my boxing career taught me was the importance of the nutrition in the food you eat and fueling mm -hmm. your body. So I'm really passionate about it, and I'm excited about the book because because these are recipes that I actually prepare for my own family. It is good. I have to admit, I was a little skeptical when I was doing <laughs> You I should know, be. But I'm like halfway, I'm halfway through, and she said, if it, if it were hot, I'd really be tearing oh, it yeah, up. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Of know course, that. your beloved father, may he rest. Yeah. He would have been 76. <laughs> Birthday last week, you posted the picture the way you described him. I know he would have been proud of you doing this as, as he was proud of you in the ring. He, he, he was very proud of me and I had some really challenging times growing up and oh. cooking, as he knows, cooking really got me through those times. It was kind of therapeutic for me and that's where I really learned my confidence. I found something that I was really good at at a young right. age. So he knows that um, how important it is and I think that he would be happy watching me now because he knows that I'm passionate yeah. about this and I'm doing my thing. So, I mean, this, this cookbook is great. But y'all need to hear this. She also has a book called uh, Her Life Story, Reach. I read it not too long ago. You republished it. She wrote it when she was 23, and it's out again. It is so good, and Thank it really you. explains Thank you. all that she's been through. And she's a mama, too. She's got two adorable kids. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Curtis and Sydney. Yes, my babies. We're going to show Sid Sydney sometimes in the kitchen with her. Watch this. Oh, God, my girl. Mommy, put this in your cookbook. That looks good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I want to eat it. Okay, you can eat it now. <laughs> She's like, enough of the social media. Can I eat the food now? You're going to make yeah. it in the cookbook? Yes. Well, you're going to go cook for us right now because, you know, the soup, let's get on up. Okay. You yeah. know, the Super yeah. Bowl. Yeah. Good. Get on up. With the Super Bowl coming up, tailgating, people want comfort food, and you said you can put a little twist on some of those foods that we like, like chicken wings mm -hmm. and pizza and oh, southern yeah. greens and all that. So we put it on Twitter, and we asked you, which one would you like for Layla to put her little twist to? And the vote went to pizza. Hey. Pizza. Okay. Okay, so, so how do you do that? This isn't just any pizza, though. This okay. is cauliflower pizza, which mm. is kind of popular right now, I think, Very. in my world anyway. But I want to show you guys how to make it. Okay. So it's really simple. You're using a cauliflower crust instead of a wheat crust, right? Or a mm -hmm. flour crust, should I say. So you pretty much have taken cauliflower, you break it up into florets, mm -hmm. you put it into the food processor, and this is what you end up with here, okay. right? And then once you do that, you put it on these baking sheets, you bake it in the oven it's until so it softens easy. a little bit. It is really easy. Mm -hmm. Put it back into the food processor. Then you just put one egg in there, okay. put a little cheese. We got some mozzarella. Yeah. We've got, got, got to it. Okay, yeah. put a little cheese in there, Parmesan, mm -hmm. a little onion powder, a little right. salt. Pretty simple, right? And then you just put the food processor lid on, and okay. then it becomes like a dough. Then you put it into really? a bowl. Yes. And it really, yeah, it's easy. And it really binds together really well. So once you have the, the ball, you roll it out. Can you use your rolling pin? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then this is what you end up with, right? And if you have, yes. Looks like a pizza cook. Yeah, so you can put yeah. it right on a baking sheet on some parchment paper, put okay. it into your oven. Now bake what it. do you put on it? That's the important thing. Yes. So I have a secret red sauce that I have in my book, but you can use any pizza sauce. Yeah, there's a lot of vegetables. I'm always trying to find ways to make things more nutritious. So that's mm -hmm. how I sneak my, you know, sneak nutrients into foods for my kids. <laughs> Sydney doesn't always eat that stuff that easily, so I sneak it in. Whether it's in? spaghetti sauce or all these vegetables, I pretty much roast down and then put them back into the food processor or a blender, and then you have this sauce. So it's not just tomato. Okay, and yep. this is in your book, right? It's all in the book. Okay. And then you're pretty much gonna put the sauce on. Pretty simple. Right? Okay. You mix it around. I could even do yep. that. Yeah. I don't know how much time we have left. I got okay. a little messy here. All right. Yeah, pretty simple. So, this, throw some there you go. Sorry. No. <laughs> and then I just want to make sure I get through it. And then here is what you end up with. And then, oh, wow. you know, you, you can use any toppings you want. I have a green sauce on my own. And I use turkey bacon, turkey bacon on it. I put that in the recipe as okay. well. And then you end up with this wonderful. Oh. Cauliflower crust cheese may, pizza. May yes, take like a piece. And don't worry, you can get the recipes online. Yes. Food for Life is out tomorrow. Everyone in our audience, you're going home with a copy today. Mm -hmm.